All right, Ledesma. Uh, here I am today at the beginning of the school year, and we're starting off the year in distance learning, as you know. So I'm going to show you how to use one of the most effective Google ter tools uh, that you will use to show your knowledge this year, and that is Google Slides. So you can see here I've gone into my Google Drive, and if I wanted to start a new slide, I would click the New button, and I would go down to Slides, and I would click it right there, and it would open up a new slideshow. So if I assign you to make a slide about something, that's how you can get started. Um, for this first assignment, it's going to be about getting to know you. Right, and so you're going to get a copy of the All About Me introductory slideshow. And what I'm going to do is make a sample one with you right now so we can kind of go through how slides works. Okay, so a couple of things to notice here uh, this is the All About Me introductory slideshow, and I'm going to go right here. Anytime you see something, uh, you can change the text on this, right? So you go in here, and instead of saying your name goes here, you should get rid of that. And instead, right, you put your name. So I'm going to use my online name here, Teacher P. Okay, and you put your online name, or not your online name, you put your regular name right there. Okay, so if, if I was a student doing this, I would type in Mr. Prola instead. Okay, and um, you go through and you're going to do this slideshow so that we can get to know you a little better. And we're going to create a website with all of this information about you. So who are you, right? You can insert your picture in here. Now, again, get rid of the text because you don't need that. But the way you insert a picture now is you go up here and you go to insert image. Okay, and I'm going to upload this one from the computer, although I can also search the web for it. Okay, but I'm going to upload this one from the computer because I already have an image that I want to go ahead and put in there. So there it is, right? Ooh, now look at that. It came out way too big. So I need to shrink that particular image so it fits into the area where I want it, right? And I'm going to go down here. Let's see. It looks like I need to probably shrink it a little bit more. Okay. And I can even get rid of the text box behind it. Okay. Um, and I can put in a picture of me. And then I can add some text about it. Now, notice I'm using bullet points here on a slideshow. Oftentimes, bullet points or numbers are the way to um, do this. And who am I? Well, I am not your father. Right? Obviously that, right? So I am a teacher, right? So different things about me. And you can add all kinds of different things that you want our class to know about you. You can even uh, add to the title of this particular slide as well, right? So you could go in here and you can add, who am I? Well, you can say um, other things about yourself, right? So I could, you know, add my name to it, Mr. Krola, things like that, okay? So now you've got your Who Am I slide done. And you'll see that there's a lot of different slides in this slideshow. You can change the layout by clicking on the slides, the My Family one. If I wanted to change the layout of it, I have a lot of different options in here, right? I could change it to this, right? There's lots of different things you can do, and I would encourage you to play around and explore a little bit with it, right? I gave you a default one with two text boxes where you can put your uh, picture and things like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna go ahead and add something about my family. Now, another way to do it is if you have it on your desktop, you might be able to just drag it in there, right? So there's my family, right? Okay, so here you go, right? And you know, uh, you might wanna add some information now again, Using bullet points is better on a slideshow with just basic information than it is to write paragraphs. If you want to write paragraphs, we'll be using a Google Doc or something similar to that, right? So you can say, you know, my family is complicated, right? Because there's some complicated family relations in Star Wars. Okay, and then you get down and you're going to do another one about your favorite sports, right? Now, Here's the deal. There's lots of sports out there and we're looking for mostly activities. So maybe you don't like sports as much, but you like activities. You can add to this and say activities, right? And we're looking for outdoor things. So if you like riding your bike or something like that, that could be 
your favorite sport or activity. And so once again, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to insert an image and I'm going to upload it from my computer and maybe my favorite sport. Oh no, it didn't like that one. Okay, so it doesn't support that type of image. So I'm going to upload it differently and we'll go right here. We'll insert an image from the internet now so I can search the web. So let me go ahead and move the picture of me over here and I will search for a lightsaber, right? And I can insert that perhaps. Okay, and there it is, right? Now I can shrink it down and move it around a little so I can fit it where I need it, right? Make sure it fits nicely onto my slideshow. And, you know, um, you know, we can add some descriptions of it. Like, don't try this at home, right? So the idea is I want you to get used to using the different tools in Google Slides, right? So, you know, up top, you can go up here. You can change some of the information. Uh, you can change the way it looks, right? So you can make it bold. You could change the color of it, right? Now, remember for a slideshow, you want colors that are going to be easy to read, right? So don't do backgrounds that you can't read what's on the slideshow anymore. Um, all of that can be pretty important to remember, okay? Um, so different things that you need to know about Google Slides. If you want to add another slide about yourself, you go to Insert, and all the way down here is a new slide, right? And it will now pop in a new slide for you to try out. So that's the idea. And you have to add a title. You can add more text. You can, again, change the layout of it. There's a lot of things you can do uh, with a Google Slideshow. Okay? Um, so that's, that's the idea for your introductory slideshow. We're going to take all of these, um, put them on a web page, and then you guys are going to browse each other and get to know your classmates. Right? We're starting the year on distance learning. But... Um, you can still get to know your classmates, and it's important um, because we will be working closely with them all year. So I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have fun exploring and learning how to use Google Slides, and I look forward to reading all about you. Have a great day, uh, Ledesma, and we will see you next time.